Hey guys, it's Angel Marie here and welcome to another YouTube video. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? I don't usually do these type of videos, but today's the day and I just want to like talk to you guys about certain things, to be honest. Um, nothing bad. So let's get straight to the point. So yesterday on Sunday, which is January 14th, I made a post. I wanted to do something new for my channel. And I really thought about having a community, to build a community on this channel. And I believe it's very important to connect with your viewers, have a relationship with your viewers and those who watch you. And I just thought like, that would be a great way. So I wanted to build a YouTube family here. And even though I'm a small YouTuber, I believe like I can still have this and it can grow eventually. And I was really pondering and really thinking like, what should I call my community if I want to do this? And I ended up thinking of the Glam family because the reason why I chose that is because as a family, as the Glam family, we are here to inspire one another, to support each other, just pretty much spread like positive vibes around this channel. Like, you know, just being able to have a positive community. That's what I want. And I also want to interact with you guys more. Like I could do like Q and A's. I could do different type of stuff, honestly, with you guys to communicate and pretty much just connect with you guys, you know, and talk with you guys. It'll be very fun and very engaging. So um, that's is my vision of the Glam family here on my channel. And plus, I think it's very exciting to be honest, to just have a YouTube community and being able to interact with you guys is just exciting. And I love doing what I do. Like I love to do makeup as a hobby. It's something that I'm passionate about. And I like to experiment different looks. I like to try new things. And everything about makeup, it just gives me the opportunity to be creative and to try different things that I haven't done before and just get out of my comfort zone. Even sometimes I mess up, but that's okay because everybody makes mistakes, especially the pro makeup artist, they mess up too. So it doesn't matter who you are, like you're gonna mess up and that's okay, right? That's the whole thing. But yeah, I'm very excited about the Glam Fam community. And even though it might be small, it's okay, you know? It is it is what it is for right now. And whatever it is, I just appreciate it, you know? For those who are new, you never seen me before. Hey, how you doing, first of all? Um, let me tell you who I am. So my name is Andrew Marie, and I've been passionate for makeup since I was 18 years old. I got into makeup, <laughs> it's a funny story how I got into makeup, so. When I was 18, I was in college and I used to like this guy. And I told him how I felt with a note. I wrote it down because I was too scared to say how I feel in person, you know, cause I was that shy type and I was very nervous. I'm like, uh, I'm not comfortable telling him how I feel in person. So to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna write him a note. So I gave him a note and everything like that, telling him how I feel. And he sent me a text a few hours later. He said, hey, and I was like, hey. He said, so about that note, I appreciate how you feel. Unfortunately, I'm talking to someone else and I don't really feel the same way. And I just wanna be honest. Yeah, I got rejected <laughs> and it really hurt because it's like, wow, it because <laughs> to be honest, it kind of hurts because I never had a boyfriend in my life. Like I've been single all my life and every time I like someone, it never works out. So it was very discouraging. 
And I'm like, wow. I was really hurt by that. I did grow a bit bitter, blocked him on Snapchat. I blocked him on everything and I just became so angry. It was just didn't make no sense, but it turns out it's never meant to be. And you know, usually rejection is God's protection. I'm glad that the rejection happened. So I'll be able to meet the guy God has for me in the future. But long story short, so after that, you know, I was 18. I had that mentality like, um, I need to glow up. I need to find a way to glow up, show him what he's missing. You know what I'm saying? Like I had that mentality, yeah. Thinking back, I'm like, girl. <laughs> but yeah, so I, would, I just wanted to have a little glow up to show what he's missing, even though I blocked him. <laughs> so that's when I got into makeup. I started to slowly learn how to do makeup, trying to enhance myself. And yeah, ever since then, I started liking makeup and I got over the rejection a long time ago, but I still enjoy doing makeup, you know? So yeah, that's my story. I haven't told any of you guys about that. So yeah, that's the story of how I got into makeup. So I started my YouTube channel back in 2020. I got very inspired by a couple YouTubers that I watched. The YouTubers that I watched were Tanya Gonzalez, she loves pink like me and she does makeup too and everything. And Charlotte's Beauty Room and she's the similar way. I love watching those two. Like those were my favorite YouTubers because we all have something in common. Like we love pink, we love makeup and things like that. We love purses, bags, you know, being just girly, you know, and that's what and that's what inspired me to do YouTube in the begin with. So ever since then, I did a little bit of YouTube. It was on and off at the beginning because I wasn't sure, like, I got, don't get me wrong, I have a life too. Cause I have school and I still have school and I be busy with most of my life. Most of the time I be so busy and I don't have time to like create content at that time but i'm trying to but now i'm trying to like create content as much as i can when i think about it i'll try to do it you know that's how it goes for me first as you can see in my order videos it's all about pink content you know even though you're gonna still gonna see pink because you know pink is always my gonna be my favorite color ever since then i did my youtube trying to be a bit consistent with it try to create some fun content for you guys and just interact with you guys and engage you know just something that'd be fun because i love to create content as a youtuber sometimes it can be discouraging because yeah i'm like i said i am a small youtuber and sometimes you're expecting to grow at a certain pace but sometimes it doesn't happen that way it can be discouraging as a youtuber especially as a small YouTuber, you have to change your mentality. You have to change your mindset because in order to keep going, you're going to need, you're going to need to change your mindset. Like, yeah, consistency is important. Yeah, quality is important, but your mindset is the top tier because if you don't have the right mindset, you're not going, you're going to end up giving up. And you gotta change that. If you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to end up being a successful YouTuber, you have to change your mindset. You gotta be able to be like, okay, appreciate the moments that you have. It's not a marathon, it's a journey. And even when you reach your destination, you still gonna keep going, it's still a journey. So no matter what, just don't give up. And that's, and honestly, that's the advice for me too. And you're going to have times where you're gonna be discouraged. Like that's part of YouTube, like being a YouTuber, like you're going to be discouraged. Like even the biggest YouTubers that you see on here even gets discouraged. Like that's part of the YouTube career. That's, how, that's what you go through. You're gonna have your ups and downs. Not everything's gonna be peaches and cream all the time. So that's very important to like embrace all that and appreciate what God has already given you and just keep going. 
you know? I have times where I was really discouraged and had thoughts about giving up because I didn't see the results that I wanted at that time. And most of the time, you're not gonna get the results that you expect. And that's, that's pretty much the reality of it. Think of it as a test for yourself. Like if you're not going to, if you're not seeing the results that you are expecting to have, are you still going to keep going? Or are you going to give up? That's your test. So I had to see, I had to think of it that way too. Like if I don't see the results that I want, I think of it as a test. Like, are you going to keep going? Or are you going to give up? Because you didn't see what you want to see, right? So yeah, it's all about changing your mindset because in order to be consistent, you have to have that right mentality and that's important. So that's my little motivation for other small YouTubers out there. We can do this, okay? We can do this, like, and trust me, your audience has yet to find you, okay? They haven't found you yet. And even for me too, like there's still more people out there that has not found me yet. And it's not our time yet. And that's okay. Our time will come, trust me, it will come. It may not come when we want them to come, but our time will come. It'll be our turn soon, trust me. I'm very excited for this year. Cause I have a, I have a few things in mind for sure. Like I mentioned before in my community post that, um, I want to do makeup reaction videos. I'm still learning on how to do that because I don't know how to do those videos, but I'm learning right now. So it might take me a minute, but eventually we're gonna do that. I wanted to react to some YouTubers that are in the makeup community like Judy D because she goes to like these, um, these makeup artists, the worst makeup artists and try to get her makeup done. And her videos are very entertaining to watch. So I really like her content and pretty much other YouTubers that do the same thing. If you guys know anybody, comment down below and I'll check them out and I'll definitely add them to the list, okay? So most definitely. And pretty much any other makeup videos or anything that you guys want me to react to, just let me know. And I will definitely, will check them out, like I said. So, yeah, and, and not only makeup reaction videos, of course, makeup challenges, reviews, um, hauls, of course, shop with me, you know, things like that and all kinds of stuff. And I also want to support smaller brands that don't have a name yet. I'm trying not to support too much of the bigger brands, like, you know, celebrity brands at that because there are so many celebrities that have a makeup brand and I just don't understand it. And it is not fair for those who doesn't have a name yet that wants to get their brand out there. So I thought like it should be helpful to, so I just believe that it should be helpful to help out other smaller brands to bring brand awareness and everything. Because, like I said, the celebrities already have their names established already. They are already known for something else. And they end up creating this makeup brand or whatever. And then people buying it because it's that celebrity that they like. And I just don't think it's fair, like I said, for smaller brands that don't have a name yet. So I think it's very important to be aware of that. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to, whenever I find them, I would love to support smaller brands and bring awareness to them. And yeah, that's my goal for that too. Guys, I don't wanna rant or I don't wanna like talk too much cause I can talk your ear off if I wanted to. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here to share with you guys about the glam family community that is new to this channel now so i'll be happy if you join the glam fam community and if you like makeup like me and everything please join and sometimes i'm going to do some lifestyle videos but that might be here and then but other than that 
join the Glam family if you're interested. Like, I'll be happy for you to be here. And I would love to interact with you and to be engaged with you. And just to be a YouTube family and just have this positive community where we can all just get along and inspire one another to support one another in this makeup beauty journey. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you guys have an awesome Martin Luther King Day. I have homework now. I have to do some readings for school because my class starts tomorrow. So yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.